Hi everyone, it's Marissa from Bumblebee Apothecary and today I'm going to make lip balm. This is my favorite lip balm recipe. I came up with it a while ago, and today I'm going to be doing it in tubes, which I haven't actually done before, but I think should be really fun. It uses some different ingredients that you don't always see in other lip balm recipes. Grass-fed tallow is amazing for skin. I have lots of other videos on my channel, so you can check those out if you're interested in learning about why I love grass-fed tallow in my homemade skincare products. And this recipe also has raw honey, which gives a really nice texture and feel to the lip balm. It makes it so it has a nice matte feeling on your lips. And ironically enough, it makes it so it's not sticky, like your hair getting stuck in it in the wind or whatever. It's just a nice matte feeling. It's, it's really nice. So let's jump right into the recipe. I'm going to start by measuring out five tablespoons of tallow. I melted this to make measuring easiest, and that's what I recommend doing. To that, I'm going to add one tablespoon of beeswax. Now, the tallow that I'm using today has a softer consistency at room temperature. If you're using very hard leaf fat tallow, then you probably don't need to add any beeswax. If it's somewhere in between, you could add just a teaspoon. That's the funny thing about using such natural ingredients. They can kind of vary a bit, but that's the measurements that I usually go with. So I'm going to stick the tallow with the beeswax in it in a double boiler. I just have a pan with some water in it, a cloth under the glass pitcher, and then the glass pitcher in there. And I'm just gonna heat that at about medium heat until the beeswax is completely melted. Now that the beeswax is completely melted into the tallow, I'm going to remove the pitcher from the heat. And at this point, I'm going to add the honey. I'm going to add two tablespoons of raw honey. I used this measuring spoon to measure the tallow before, so it has a nice oily coating, which will help the honey slide right out. So now I'm going to start to whisk the mixture with a fork. What I'm looking for is for the honey beeswax tallow mixture to cool slowly so that the honey will stay suspended and not sink to the bottom. And that'll happen as the tallow and beeswax start to cool. So I'm just gonna whisk and keep an eye on whether or not the honey stays suspended or if it still wants to sink to the bottom. It's actually looking really good already. It's staying suspended which means I see honey evenly throughout the mixture. It's not settling to the bottom. So next I'm going to add my essential oils. You can leave it plain without essential oils too. It's really nice that way. But I like to add some essential oils. For stronger essential oils like cinnamon or peppermint, I add 15 drops to this batch. If it's a milder one, like a skin safe citrus, scent or something like that, then I do 30 drops. But I'm doing peppermint today, so I'm going to do 15 drops. And then just whisk again to incorporate that. And then I'm going to get my lip balm tubes out and get ready to fill them. I like to wait to pour it into the containers when I start to see it kind of be thick, and I'm certain that that honey is not going to separate out in the bottom. So I think we're pretty good there, and I'm going to be using this pipette to fill my lip balm tubes. The pipette is nice because if you get one a little bit too full, you can easily take some back out. In between each one, I'm just going to stop and whisk my mixture to make sure that it's staying combined. A 
Once I'm finished filling the lip balm tubes, I'm gonna move them to the freezer so that they can set up quickly. That'll help keep the honey from separating out. And then after they're done solidifying in the freezer, I'll take them out and let them come to room temperature and then they're ready to use. I hope that you really enjoyed this recipe. Check out that description box for links to where you can get all of the supplies and equipment ingredients that you need to make this recipe. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else you think would like a new, very unique and super nice lip balm recipe. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time, bye.